Hey friends, Cloudbart here. Time for another identity and access management lesson. I was thinking this morning we could look at one really simple and important and very powerful mechanism within AWS for assigning permissions. Remember that we always have the option of creating a policy and attaching it directly to a user individually. This certainly does assign permissions to them. And in previous lessons, we've talked about some of the variations, whether those be inline or managed policies, very useful options. But one other key element that we can create here is the idea of defining a group within AWS and attaching the policy to the group. Kind of a similar model, except for now we can put all sorts of users in that group and administer mass permissions across dozens, hundreds, and even thousands of user accounts by modifying the permissions on the group itself. In this way, we're creating group-based, sort of more like role-based permission sets. So I might define a group for administrators of a certain service or administrators of a certain environment or administrators of some certain account or project level. What that designation is, is up to you and the admins and developers who are creating this model. So let's take a quick look at how to do this in the management console. Over here in the identity and access management dashboard, I could create myself a new group and maybe we'll call this my limited permissions group here. Great, we'll go ahead and say next step. And on the next page, they give us the ability, uh, go ahead and say next step. Great, and on the next page, they give us the ability to go through and look for policies. So we could look for, uh, what is one of the regular user access policies that they have in here? Uh, okay, here's one, power user access. That'll work pretty well. So we can go to next step and go ahead and create that group. And what you'll see now is I have that group available here in the dashboard. And if we jump inside of it, it has a policy attached to it, just like a user would. Now notice that this one is a managed policy. So this was one of the reusable policy objects. And you can see that we attach that power user access policy, which has a smattering of permissions assigned inside of it. The next step then would be to go over here and create yourself a new user. This could be my test user here. Um, we could give them some permissions like the uh, access credentials there for access keys. And then when it says set up user permissions, this is where we have our options. Either I copy permissions, attach a policy, or look at this option here. It's also the default one, add a user to a group. And so I could go down and find that group, drop them on in, and we'll go ahead and create that user. Excellent. And if we take a look at the user, and close that down. If we take a look at that user that I just built and look at their permissions, you can see that they have power user access and it even specifies that that came from the group attachment itself. Now, this is a pretty simple little concept here, friends, but once you get that group built, I can add users down the road as much as I want to and manage all the permissions directly by simply modifying the group itself. And that's a big administrative win for me, reduce complexity, improve durability and reusability of those components, and of course, achieve those security objectives we're looking for. See you next time.